Okay, the subject um, today is VS Commodore water pump. Um, yes, you can apply this to any car, any you know, any type of car, whatever. Um, water pump tips. First tip is remove the water pump. You can't do it if it's still bolted on. Um, yeah, it's alright. I'm joking. Um, well, you do have to remove it, but obviously, use your Hylomar, um to joint your water pump. Um, if you don't have it, I suggest you buy it. Um, you can use Celastic. Do not use a heap of Celastic. Um, if you tell me you put a heap on, I'll get really angry and leave a nasty comment. No, I won't. Okay, just joking. But if you use too much um, Celastic, what will happen is it will ooze out when you tighten up the water pump. It'll end up in your cooling system. It'll block up your radiator and your heater core and any small um, passages in your cooling system. It will cause overheating. Um, it can cause a converter to freeze on a, on a propane powered vehicle. So don't do it. A smear of Celastic is all it takes or silicon or whatever you want to call it, RTV gasket compound. I suggest you use this stuff. It's much easier and um, very good stuff. If you ever doubted um, how good Hylomar actually is, this is something I, I just sprayed on the fence so it wouldn't go all over cars to clear the nozzle of the can about six months ago. It's still tacky. Still exactly the same as it was when it was put there. So, Hylomar, go buy it. You should be able to buy it wherever you are in the world. Um, if you can't, you can get it on eBay. You can get it in a tube form, blah, blah, blah. I'm not, I'm not flogging Hylomar. I'm not, um, well, I am flogging it, but I'm not affiliated with... Um, with uh, I think ACL make it, yep. I'm not affiliated with ACL in any way, shape or form, so don't flame me for it. Um, top tip number one, um, this is 40 grit sandpaper, but it's really, really well worn, so it's not equal to 40 grit, so don't go out and go, don't go out and get really heavy sandpaper. Um, nice, worn um, P40 grit's perfect. It's not really that rough at all anymore. It's off a belt sander. Um, be careful when you use things like this. Um, this is the first thing you want to use. You want to get the bits of gasket off there. So you scrape it off. You can't really see it very well in there. But scrape your gasket off. Um, then get your sandpaper. Very carefully sand it smooth. Um, how clean is clean enough? Well, if you're asking, it's probably not clean enough. So you can see that it's all nice and shiny. Now, it's got a, you know, a few pock marks and things. It's not going to be you know mirror finish. You're not aiming to remove material. You're just aiming to remove enough um, crap off there for it to be smooth and clean. Now, the most important um, two things that any mechanic or car guy can possess are his eyes and his hands. Um, if you can't get in there to see all the detail of the um, water pump mating surface, I suggest you go buy if you do not possess a mirror on a stick and um, that can be really useful combined with a, with a torch. Um, work lights are a bit bulky, but if you've got a small work light, that's ideal. And you just sort of get your mirror on the right angle and that'll, that'll show you all the details. Um, but before you even bother doing that, or even after you've done it, just get your hands and run it along the mating surface. What does it feel like? Is there any gasket left? Because um, if there is, it won't seal. Um, does it feel smooth and free from dirt and grit. This one's not free from dirt and grit because I haven't finished cleaning it yet, but um, the other thing is um, when you've done your water pump and presumably the rest of your cooling system is not a piece of crap. Um, now this radiator is not very old, but what you'll notice around here, it's going to focus, is this white compound. Right, seems to brush off fairly easy. Now why is that? It's because this hose is original to the vehicle. I never changed it and I just reused it what came off the old um what came off the old um radiator so that being said um if any hoses are dodgy i suggest you change them now if the heater taps as old as the vehicle which this one is and i'm not going to change it but the heater tap down there there's a there's a metal part they like to corrode away and you end up with no um no coolant in the cooling system. So these are mild steel galvanized hose clamps that are really firm, throw them out, every single one of them. There's maybe a couple of these good stainless ones on the car, but I suggest you go buy these T clamps. They use them on trucks and earth moving equipment. Um, you see them on performance cars a lot of the time. Good quality stuff. If you're not going to buy them, at least buy good quality worm drive clamps. Stainless steel, really flexible clamps. If the clamp looks like it's um, 
had the living crap wrung out of it, throw it away. I don't care what the clamp is, if it's shit, throw it away. Don't reuse crap on cooling systems that look like, you know, look like the dogs had it. Um, so, if you need to, new hoses, do I recommend changing every hose under the bonnet? If it's a screwdriver car, absolutely. Um, and by screwdriver car, that's a little term I've invented to describe any car that has um, numerous things wrong with it. You know, everywhere you look, there's a problem. Ah, just get the screwdriver out, we're going to fix it again. So, if it's a screwdriver car, replace every single hose and um, component in the cooling system, which may not be limited to, but also include a radiator, a thermostat, um, even the thermostat housing if it's never run coolant, um, any and all heater hoses, any coolant transfer hoses, inspect and renew any O-rings that, that seal, um, like this housing here, um, this little elbow housing is obviously going to have you know an O-ring between here and there, so remove that, replace the O-ring. Um, any car that's got that type of, you know, if you ever see that, it's going to have an O-ring there, so replace it. Um, you know, if, even if the car's not a screwdriver car, you, maybe you should replace it anyway. But um, you should be cleaning any debris um, off the front surface of the radiator. This one's obviously new, so it's got no crap on there. But if you need to, remove the radiator from the vehicle. You're not doing a water pump, you're doing a cooling system in service and inspection as well as a water pump. Um, I cannot stress enough the importance of replacing thermostats and radiator caps. If the thermostat and radiator cap are older than you can remember replacing, or every 12 months, doesn't matter what condition the cooling system's in, when you change your coolant, you should change the thermostat, uh, thermostat housing gasket and the um, radiator cap. Do I recommend leaving coolant in the car for 100,000 kilometres or two years? Absolutely, unequivocally, no. That's too long for coolant to be in the cooling system. Um, what starts to happen is the product in the in the um, the coolant slash corrosion inhibitor package start to start to break down and um, they stop doing their job, um, or they form nasty compounds in the cooling system. So I want you to change your coolant, your radiator cap, and your thermostat every 12 months. That's long enough for them to be on the car. Coolant's not expensive. Don't use crappy coolant. Use good quality coolant. Um, you really need it in any modern type of car, um, or even any old car, you should be using coolant um, that has an inbuilt corrosion inhibitor. I don't want you to buy orphan brand coolant that is from eBay, that's from China, and no one's ever heard of the brand. Um, if you're not sure, Google what's on the front of the coolant um, bottle. It will come up uh, to a website uh, from a reputable company if you should buy it. But I recommend you stick to the manufacturer's recommendation um, or a good quality Castrol, um, Neulon, um, I'm trying to remember if um, Penrite make coolant, I'm pretty sure they do. Anything that's good quality, stick to that. Don't, don't use crap in your cooling system. If you're going to do that, you might as well use distilled water and change it every seven days or something, because that's still a lot better than some of the cheap coolants. Which um, brings me to my next point. Um, do not mix coolant, they are not compatible. Under no circumstances should you ever mix um, different types of coolant they will form a sludge in your cooling system, block up the um, radiator and the heater core, cause overheating of the vehicle and possible cylinder head um, and cylinder head gasket and block damage if you really push it. Um, anything I haven't covered? Yeah, okay. All these, um, all these um, tensioner idler pulleys, give them a spin round. If they sound like shit, this one's nice and smooth. Can't hear nothing. This one, on the other hand, that one's fucked. So change it. The one down below, it's new, so I'm not even going to spin it round. Nice and smooth. So if any of those are shit, replace them. The belt, um, if you turn it round and flex it, and if you'll ever focus, if you turn the belt around so it's so the rib side is out, and you sort of flex it a bit, there shouldn't be any um, cracks through the ribs. There's an indicator on the, um, usually on most of these um, vehicles, um, housings, they normally have a little pointer. And um, when the belt's rooted, it's got a scale there that tells you, you know, when the belt should be changed. And I can't get this around to show you the pointer, but anyway, 
Um, it's just a general um, service and replacement of any dodgy bits in your cooling system. I don't even do. Don't even waste your time testing the caps. If you're doing a water pump, change the cap. If you're doing maintenance on the cooling system, change the cap. If you've, you know, if the caps, you know, if you have the cap off and it's, you know, you, you can be screwed spending six dollars, put a new cap on it. Now these bottles often end up with sludge in, the, in them. Um, they look terrible. You can't see the level. This bottle's got no water in it, obviously, because the um, cooling system's in bits. But this one's reasonably clean. Now you might wonder how I got the bottle so clean. Um, gravel from your driveway. Um, take the bottle out of the car. Obviously, you can't do it with in place, with it in in place in the vehicle. But remove the bottle. Um, fill it about half full with gravel. Um, put some water in it too. Shake the living crap out of it um, until you know you start to see the crap come off the inside of the bottle. Um, very, very carefully and thoroughly remove any traces of gravel and dirt and flush the bottle out and you'll have a new bottle and uh, you'll actually be able to see how much coolant's left in the bottle. But, yeah, replace anything that's dodgy, um, thermostats, radiator caps, clean your bottle out, run good quality um, coolant. The radiator's a piece of shit, replace it um, or have it repaired. If, you know, if it's, if it's not got plastic tanks, have, it, have, um, have the coil raked through and now the tank's resoldered. This is plastic. Get them for 130 bucks on eBay for a good quality radiator. Touched on this before, so see other videos. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone.